Whoa, legendary. What is up guys, welcome to another top 5 with Chris05. Today I will give you 5 of the best decks to climb ladder in December after the massive nerfs to Out Paladin, Kingsbane Rogue, Druids and so on. Those nerfs really shook up the ladder and that led to a hunter dominant meta, but fear not. Some of the decks I'm about to show you really love farming hunters, so you will climb ranks with them in no time. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and smash subscribe if you're new. Now let's see the decks. The first deck on my list is the good old cube lock I used to climb to legend with this season. This deck was just amazing right after the nerfs and I made an amazing climb with it from rank 4 to 1 in no time. Check out my last video easy legend with cube lock and you will see just what I mean. Everything was going really great with it, but it actually took me 6 attempts on my final boss to finally push that legend, so it's not a miracle worker. I'm definitely not advising you to craft this deck if you don't have most of the cards since it rotates almost completely in April. The easy matchups for me were spell hunters and secret hunters, but death rattle hunters were not that bad too, especially if you get the Taldoran their full cubes. Paladins were easy targets, but rogues were hard to play against since they have amazing early and mid game and sometimes you just can't defend yourself from that. Warriors also might stall you out, but it's close to a 50-50 situation there. For the mulligan, against aggressive decks you just want to survive, keeping all of your early game minions, AoEs and amethysts. Against hunters, you need to aggressively search for those hellfires because you will really need them as soon as turn 4 or 5. Against not so aggressive decks, you can keep your possessed lackeys, giants and maybe even amethysts so you can buff it up early for some mid game threats. When the mid game comes, you can do a lot of nutty stuff with your cubes, umbra and tauteron and you have to decide what your win condition is. If you need to OTK your opponent with doom guards, then maybe try not to play void lords so you don't get void walkers in your gul'dan. In other situations, you just have to stall out the game and stabilize for the win, so choose wisely. Rogue is another great deck that rose in popularity once the nerfs hit. It has the advantage against Death Rattle and Midrange Hunter, but struggles against Secret and Spell Hunters. Overall, it's a good and not so expensive deck that you can craft with confidence since the April rotation won't really affect it too much. The main reason this deck got popular again is the Odd Paladin nerf. Odd Pally was really strong against Odd Rogue, but now that that's out of the way, Odd Rogue can wreak havoc once more. For the mulligan, you always want to find your hench clan thug and some one drops. Keeping a cold blood with a firefly might also be a good idea versus classes that struggle against early aggression, so you might want to try that out. Like I said, the deck is on the cheaper side, but if you want to make it even cheaper, you can try it out without Myra's unstable element, but I enjoy playing that card since it can give you that final push against some hard control matchups. On the number 3 spot, we have Even Shaman. After the nerfs, even Shaman remains a strong aggro deck, but not many people are using it. The deck has really strong early game and it transitions very well into the mid game too. Hagatha and Lich King also give you a great fighting chance even into the late game, which is pretty rare for an aggro deck. Again, this is a great deck against the swarm of hunters out there, since it does great against all hunters except maybe spell, where it's close to 50-50. There aren't many decks that can be called counters to even Shaman, but Priest isn't its best matchup. For the mulligan, you want to keep your good 2 drops like Flame Tongue Totem, Merc Spark Eel and Primal Fin Totem. Corpse Taker is also a great keep for a ton of early pressure. Overall, even Shaman is not a cheap deck and two of its core legendaries will rotate out soon, but if you already have Lich King and Kalimos, you might want to try it out. Sitting at number 4 for the first time in a long time, we have Odd Warrior in the tier 1 section. As much as I dislike the deck and the idea to stack armor turn after turn without that many counter attacks, I can't deny that the deck is strong right now. The main reason for it to rise in popularity again is the nerf of Druids, Kingsbane and Shutterwalk. The deck is great against most of the hunters except for Death Rattle. Exodia Paladin and other Exodia and Mechatune decks also annihilate it, but since there aren't many of them on ladder, you will still have an overall good win rate with the deck. For the mulligan, most of the time you will be looking for Ethereum Rover, Stonehill Defender, Shield Slam and Shield Block. If you're playing against midrange decks, keeping Brawl and Reckless Flurry is also a good idea. Again, this is a really expensive deck and the games take way too long, but if you love playing Warrior, now's the time to do it. To top it all off, no core cards will rotate out in April, so you're safe to craft it. Just hope you won't hate playing it after a few games. I've talked to a lot of Odd Warriors and many say they got tired of the deck quickly. 
And at number 5, we have all 3 Hunter decks that are stomping ladder right now. Death Rattle, Spell and Secret Hunter. All of these are great and you can't really go wrong with choosing either one of them. My advice to you is to craft the one that you have the most cards for, but keep in mind that all of them will suffer greatly from the April rotation, since Death Rattle Rexar is the backbone of any Hunter deck right now. Spellstone and the Death Rattle package rotate out completely too. If you want to see my Spell Hunter guide, you can check out this video, and if you want to see how I reached Legend with Cube Hunter two seasons ago, you can check out this video. And this about wraps it up for this top 5 guys. Don't forget to check out World of Duels for the chance to win cash from playing Hearthstone duels and tournaments. Thanks for watching, I'm Chris05 and I'll see you in my next video.